this is how to make a stop point for a follow car system what you see here is a reed switch inside these little follow cars this is a little truck that I have and this is a little reed switch so when you put a magnet to this you can see the wheels going there if I grab my magnet and I put it to the reed contact it stops the wheels The cheapest way I've found to get hold of a electromagnet is out of a standard relay out of a vehicle and you can use this, the coil right here, here's one I've removed previously, you can just cut it out, it's not a problem. Um, basically all you do when you cut them out you need to have this little wire free on either end you're going to have one on each end here and here to obviously create a magnetic field and this is going to create your magnet that will when the bus or your truck rolls over that it will stop it in place all you need to do is just sand back this little point here just get a bit of sandpaper on this so you just wear back the insulation that's on that coil wire. Do the same up the other end. If you like, you can unwind it a, a tiny little bit. Be careful because it's very fragile. You can break it very easily. You can always wind that back up again, that wire. Once you've done that, you can get your soldering iron, and I use some Kynar wire, because it's nice and small, just to join up to that solenoid wire. Give yourself, let's say, I don't know, 10 to 15 centimeters. I use a blue and a yellow wire color. don't have to make them the same length because you'll join other wire up to this to join up to your uh, switch and or your timer circuit so you there you have there instead of using your cutters to cut the insulation back once your soldering iron's hot you can get a piece of paper Just use your soldering iron and you can just strip the wire back, just like that. Make it a little bit longer if you like. Once you've done that, it's just a case of twisting this around this one. And soldering it on. It's probably a good idea. The easiest way to try and solder is just to put a bit of solder on each side. Just tin both surfaces. Just leave a little bit of excess on there.
you'll know if it's taken or not. You can just give it a little tug and it should be taken fine. You can insulate that with just some electrical tape. And the other side. I'll just leave a little bit of excess solder on this wire. So I'll take, there we go. Try and lift it up off the plastic, otherwise it'll melt. And there you have it. Once you hook these two wires up, your blue and your yellow to a switch to 12 volts, it will create your magnetic field to turn your read contact and switch the car off. There you go. Save having to buy a proper follower car system stop point. You can just use that. You could possibly wire up a triple five timer in a circuit to timer it. At the moment I'm just in the trial stage of using an on off switch on a uh, N scale train layout and it seems to be working fine. So there you go. Easy does it.